Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. You know what I'm going to say, let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer is from uh, Beach Brewing Company and they're out of Virginia Beach, Virginia, which uh, here I'm in Virginia. I'm on the uh, western side of the state and they're on the east coast. So this is 10% alcohol by volume on this one guys. This is a fairly new brewery and uh, there's a uh, not a lot of scores and comments on, on these guys. They're just getting fired up, get going. There are some, so we're going to give you what I got, and I'm going to give you my opinion. So, uh, With that being said, uh, they're out of Virginia Beach. American Double Imperial Stout, 10% ABV on this one. Limited edition, brewed once, it says here. So uh, if you see this and you want to give it a try, pick it up, because they only brewed it once, and once it's gone, it's gone. The glassware for today is pint, Becker, the Stein, mug, a snippered, oversized wine glass. I got the double glass, guys. Food pairings, the cheeses are the buttery, brie, gouda, Havarti, Swiss, and the meat for this is beef, smoked meat, game, and grilled meat. This is a big beer, 10%, and it'll go with your chocolate dishes and it'll go with your bigger dishes. Yeah, all your grilled meats, guys. Steaks, chops, burgers, all that stuff under the well piece. Just remember, this is a big beer, 10%. So, uh, it'll get you there on the express line. The uh, beer can be selling for extended periods being a 10% beer. So, I don't think there's anything else on the bottle that we need to cover. Do see. Our Sea Devil Imperial Stout is a wicked combination of chocolate roasted and black patent malt. But what about hops, you ask? This Evil Brew 75 IBUs balance the huge malt base and pack a punch of their own. So, not only is this a big hop, I mean a big malt bomb, but it should have some hops to go with it. So, let's get the cap on this thing. Red cap on it. I don't see any kind of dating on it, but that's really irrelevant on a stout this big. But, I kind of like to have a year on it anyway, and it may be digitized somewhere on it, guys. Let's go down the center on this one. Ten percent. What do you think? We want to get ahead. Not so much. Look at there. And uh, not quite. Yeah, almost a finger ahead there. Depending on how fat your fingers are. Over into the light. Uh, it pours a very dark. No light. I'm not seeing anything whatsoever around the outside of the glass. So, guys, you know what I say about these kind of beers. This is black used motor oil, 60 way, like I drain out of the Harley out there. I would never claim that uh, Tim had motor oil that looked this black. So, <laughs> be safe out there, Tim. This is a very good looking beer. The head has dissipated just a little bit out there. Wow. The nose on this is awesome. Chocolate, roasted malt, a little bit of coffee, a little tobacco too. Whoa, that smells so good. I hope the mouth and taste is just as good as the aroma on this one. Guys, there's a lot of chocolate going on there, and I don't think they've added any chocolate, so they're really getting they're really getting the chocolate out of the chocolate malt they use. Like I said, it says they use chocolate roasted and black patent malts when they brewed this. Got a, got a big nose, got a wonderful aroma. Guys, cheers. It's not a hot bomb, but trust me, it does have some bitterness to go with it. It's like a bittersweet chocolate that I'm tasting off of that, off the chocolate malt there.
Now I'm not getting the hop presence on my nose. So to me that tells me they've used a lot of hops on the bittering part of it. The first the first five minutes of the bowl they've added quite a bit of bittering hops to this. It's a little thin for a 10% beer, but that doesn't bother me too much. We'll see how the booziness comes as it warms up. This is right out of the fridge, probably 38 degrees, 38 to 40 degrees. And of course, the stouts are better enjoyed and a little, a little warmer. But I like to taste them when they're cold like that to see what I get on the nose and on the taste. And then uh, drink on it for, especially a bottle of this. This is a bomber. This is a big bottle. And I, I didn't pour it off. I'm going to give this a half to the, uh, to the wife and uh, see what she thinks of it. But, uh, It's not bad. It's not bad. These guys are just getting fired up, so we're going to give them the benefit of the doubt here and let, them warm up, let it warm up and uh, see what we end up with here, guys. Stick around. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Thanks for sticking around. Got just a little left in the glass here. and Sea Devil Imperial. To me, and this is just my opinion, guys. I'm not a big brewer or anything. To me, it's, it's more bitter than it should be. They should back off on the bittering hops that they're using on there. We don't need 75 IBUs on an Imperial Stout uh, unless it's super sweet, and this is not super sweet. Uh, I would even <laughs> if it was if, if I would brew this the next time I would brew it, I'd add some lact I would add some lactose to this to give it a little bit better creamier mouthfeel than what they've got, and back off on the bittering hops. So that's my two cents, guys. I'll show. A decent stout, but nothing exceptional. It's probably their first attempt, brewed once. They probably will tweak it the next time they do this, and they probably know what to do. To me, it needs to be just a little bit better on the mouthfeel. Could be a little creamier by adding lactose or something to it. And the bittering, it's a little, it's a little too bitter to me. I mean, it may be from not adding a little chocolate to it and using getting everything from the chocolate malt and a roasted malt for that. I don't know. I mean, uh, I'm not a head brewer or anything like that. But uh, to me, the bottom line was that this is a tad too bitter and the mouth was kind of thin and I, yeah, I think by adding lactose they would get a little creamier mouthfeel than that guy. So, with that being said, and like I said, there's no date on this, which is not in, 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 incredibly important on, on a stout this big, 10%. So, uh, it's got something digitized on the bottle and black letters, but I would kind of like to have a year so we know how long this fella right and what year we got it or whatever, guys. So, with that being said, I'm going to give it a 7. It's a B plus. If it had a date on it somewhere on the label, I would probably give it an 8 for the A miles and get it into the A category. But right now, it's a B plus. Uh, Rate Beer has 83 overall and 19 in the style, so not impressive numbers from them and Beer Advocate doesn't have anything it says this uh, doesn't have enough reviews on it so it is a fairly new beer a new beer company getting fired up out there I think and I, well it's not so much getting fired up as it's getting it into their beer into a bottles where they've been doing it in kegs and into, at their local establishments and serving it there before they went the, into the bigger distribution so uh, guys if you see this and you can get it very small, limited area on the distribution on this one, I'm pretty sure, guys. So, uh, let me know what you think of it. Uh, it's, it's a decent, and I'm sure they'll do a better job next time, guys. So, uh, if you see it, pick it up. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, and hit the like button if you like it, and come on back door. You know what we're going to do. That's right. We're going to look in that bridge. See you then.